Hi. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Kendall here. How are you? You good? You're eating well? Are you sleeping well? Are you getting enough water? Are you being nice to the women in your life? I hope so. Make the world a better place every day. All that jazz. Snap, snap. Woo, woo, woo. Today is an interesting video because I asked you guys on Twitter what video you wanted to see and I was not expecting this one to be the one that y'all wanted to see. Very honest with you. Today we're testing out sunscreen. The ashy of the ashy, the sunscreeny of the sunscreeny, and hopefully some that are really good. Actually, I know some are really good because some of them are my personal favorites. Today we're going to sit down, we're going to try some new ones, we're going to see the pros and cons of some new ones, and also just give you guys some recommendations of tried and true favorites for myself. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. I think it'll be a fun little situation. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is up, home skillet basket? We make videos pretty often and we're kind of great. We're relatively pretty awesome. So you should subscribe. So your girl is back to being weaved up. Hallelujah, amen. As much as I love looking at my curly hair for the first time in pretty much a year, I remember why I don't wear my hair out. <laughs> Very quickly, I was like, yo. Back where she belongs, back where she's safe and taken care of. But let's get started on the actual sunscreens. I have a few in this box that I randomly collected. In my wish trend box, I just threw them in here. This one is from a brand called El Royale. This is the Pang Pang Big Sun Cushion. This cushion is huge. Standard size cushion. It's huge. And it's flat too. So that's kind of cool. Big Sun Cushion. This is SPF 50 plus PA triple plus. So this is what it looks like. It has this giant mirror, which to me would be amazing. This is a really big mirror. <laughs> I would kind of just take this with me just for the mirror alone, even though that's not what this is. There's a big old puff that is um, comparable in size to the cushion itself. And then we have inside the sun cushion. Go in there. Oh, look how cute it has the little sun on it. So I don't have any face products on other than like a cream, like a moisturizer. So I'm just going to go in with the... And see, I'm just gonna do like one half of my face because ooh, that's looking ashy. Okay, no, maybe. Okay, I'm noticing a lot less ash if I just like spread it on my face. But considering this comes in a cushion, I assume that this was in a cushion to you know make applying portably a little bit more easier. But say for instance, if you're trying to put this over makeup, um, if you have to like swipe like this, I don't know if that will work. I do like the concept of a cushion sunscreen though. So depending on your skin tone, this might not be an issue for you, but because there's such like a, almost a purple hue to it, it's making me go gray because I have quite like neutral undertones and, and a little, well, a little neutral to yellow undertone. So it's starting to, cancel out <laughs> the natural yellow of my skin. So it's going a little bit purpley, a little gray. If you have very, very yellow skin, very, very yellow undertones, this will probably be okay. It probably won't be that big of an issue because it'll kind of like dull that down and makes it a little bit more neutral, especially if you're trying to do makeup that's a little bit more cool. I noticed that's a good way to get away with stuff like that. If you have quite yellow undertones, sometimes that can clash with like cooler tone makeup. If you pro tip <laughs> but um for me generally speaking i'm not looking to cancel out that natural yellowness in my skin i feel no need to also it looks kind of dry i don't know if this is like low-key it could be like the gel in my in my baby hair situation so i don't want to blame this on the cushion i'm looking dry there it is you see that on my neck Oh no, that's that's just dry. So I'm just gonna be very honest with you, this isn't for me. I feel like if you have oily skin, that wouldn't be an issue and that probably wouldn't even happen on you. But because my skin is quite dry, this is a no-go for me. Um, if the size is a deterrent to you, but you don't mind kind of the like brightening effect and even some of the yellowness cancellation, like you kind of like that neutralizing factor of it and you don't mind it uh, being a little bit drier but if you're like why is it so friggin big they actually have a smaller one like a mini size how cute so final ranking I'm gonna give this like a two out of five stars it's a little too dry a little too ashy I do like the like method of applying it the cushion itself and the pad itself is kind of cool like I like how big it is so I can just do like okay put it on but as far as like the way it sits on my skin and my skin color 
I don't really, that's not really my tease. So I would pass on this. Okay, now we have another new one. I'm not even gonna wipe this off. So if we see any comparison in color, you can see that. But this is from Claire's. This is the Soft Airy UV Essence. That sounds like a good sign. I always like um, sunscreens that say an essence or a lotion or a skin, something that sounds like it's mixed in with skincare because they tend to be a bit thinner and not as like white casty Crypt Keeper type situation. Yeah. The soft, weightless, invisible daily sunscreen that guards against UVA, UVB without leaving greasiness or a white finish. Sounds like a good day to me. SPF 50 plus, uh, PA quadruple plus, so another plus, I don't know what that means, but it's another one. Water-based gel texture and vegan friendly. So all my vegans out there, this feels really large. In comparison to my other ones, is this really big? This looks really large. In comparison to like any other sunscreen I've had that's for the face in particular, this is like really big. Um, 2.7 ounces and I'm gonna try this on my face for the first time. I have like put it on my hand and it looked pretty good there, but it's hard to tell. I don't know if I apply it too much, but. Okay, so texturally, I really like that a lot better. It's a little bit more nourishing. I wouldn't call it moisturizing per se, but it's definitely not as dry and <laughs> dry as the other side. Ooh, you can see, okay. <laughs> you see that color difference? My face isn't ashy on this side, so that looks really good. This side is very, I mean, depending on who you ask, this is quote unquote brightening, but I don't like the way that this looks. This one feels a wee, just a tiny bit sticky. Personally, I don't mind that. I know a lot of people might though, so I'm just gonna tell you guys that. It's nothing that's super uncomfortable, but it is a little sticky. So this gets a this gets an A for me. Completely off topic, but recently I've been trying to do like K-pop dances for exercise because they're fun. Um, and I realized um I have a newfound respect for everyone that dances on stage and sings at the same time. Y'all got me messed. Up. Well, out of these dances, you gotta get on the floor and get back up. My knees, like what? Okay, two more sentence screens, both of which are from Benton, so I might as well do these at the same time. These are both the papaya sunscreens. One is D for daily use. This one's SPF 38 triple plus and then one is for sport spf 50 PA quadruple plus. Um, I've used one of these, but I don't remember which one it was and I remember thinking it's a little purple. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this one's definitely a little th thicker than say the Claire's one and upon first application we're getting a purple hue now the purple tone isn't terrible if you have lighter skin it might actually make you look a little brighter but when you are a woman of color or if you have a tan to deep skin tone it makes you look like this one side is a purple people eater I love you you love me realness the texture is a little bit like like a film on your skin. Oh, but wait, as I'm like pressing it in, I think that purple's going away or is it just my eyes getting used to it? That film is still there. It's not a bad feeling, but it kind of feels like your skin is a little bit dry, like a little dry, a little tight, and like it has something on it. It doesn't feel like it's soaked into the skin. Finish wise, it looks fine, but I'm gonna give this like a four because I don't really love the way it feels. Or like a 3-4, because I don't really love the way this feels on my skin. So next we have Sport by the same line, but it's the Sport version. Ooh, she thick. Okay, she real thick. Oh, this one's definitely thicker than the last one. Definitely gonna take a little bit more of like a rubbing in situation. Is this like waterproof or something? <laughs> oh no. I still wanna give it a chance like the other one, because the other one took some time to like settle into the skin but this one looks more purple than the other one did so so yeah this one's supposed to be like heavy duty so this is like for sports when you plan to be sweating and stuff like that so i understand that it's going to be a little bit um, more heavy duty but that's purple i, I kind of don't want to judge it because like i said the other one took a second to settle down what i'll do is i'll just take off this side which see obviously just settled down. Yeah, it's just not gonna stop being purple, I see. Okay, this gets a hot one for me. This is even worse than the cushion one. This is high, ooh, this is bad. So the sport one, nah sis, keep it away from me sis. Okay, this next sunscreen is like a sunscreen, also a primer mix type thing. This is the Hamish Artless Glow Base. 
It says SPF 50 PA Triple Plus. And this one, ooh, wrong side. This one I've liked for a while now because A, I think of it as like a makeup product as well as a sunscreen. Um, it will give you like a nice glow if you're not trying to wear makeup that day or even if you are, it just makes you look put together and dewy, dewy AF. Like look at it, it's so smoothing. It's so smooth and luminizing, but it's also protecting your skin because of the high SPF. So this one is no shocker because I know I like this one because I've liked it for a really long time. We are almost done, so let's finish on a good note. Let's talk about two more old favorites, or not old favorites of mine, current favorites of mine. One is the Misha Essence Sun Milk SPF 50 Essence Lotion. Milk is also a good sign. These tend to be ones that are very like thin and skincare like as opposed to like a shellac. Um, so look for that a lot of times. But this one's super thin and super lightweight. Like it basically soaks in immediately. It's so thin, it's like easy to layer. And I've also put this over makeup and it does not go ashy. There you go, it's very thin. It doesn't feel like a, a thick layer on your skin. It just feels like you moisturize efficiently. This could also take the place of an essence too because it is an essence. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this, this line from uh, Misha, this sun milk line has a bunch of different finishes but this is the one that matched my skin well. It has a um, dewy finish like a moist finish. It's like the more subtle version of the Artless Glow Base. It's not as like shiny as the Glow Base is. It's just a little bit more natural. And then last but not least, a recommendation from you guys. This is the CauseRx Aloe Soothing Sunscreen. SPF 50 PA Triple Plus. Now this one is a little bit more of a cream, um, like a cream gel, but again, very lightweight. Not as moisturizing. So if you have oily skin, this might be a little better for you. It has a little bit more of like a, not a tug, but like it's a little drier, but I still like it. It absorbs really quickly, very lightweight. It does leave the slightest like sticky layer on your skin, so keep that in mind. Overall, it's a good sunscreen. Give this like a four out of five. And my sun milk, five out of five. So, so far, let's just like kick these two out completely. These are not good. <laughs> or at least not good on my skin tone. They leave too much of a layer. They're too dry. They look like you're wearing sunscreen. But let's talk a little bit more about finish and texture about the other ones. Here we have the Claire's. Ooh, way too much. But if we can see like viscosity, it's a cream, but it's like, it's hanging on there, right? So this is gonna be a little bit more of a thicker formula. Thicker formulas tend to be slightly drier um, and they tend to do really well with normal and oily skin types generally. This one's not super drying. So even if you have drier skin, this isn't gonna be like a, I can't wear it. It does have a little bit of a I don't want to say a tug because a tug has a negative connotation but it has a little bit of a, a thickness to it a little bit of a shield like texture to it if you find that you have oily skin this will give a good like kind of oil blocking maybe not block it but just a little bit of oil control next we have the Benton daily of my like good list I will consider this one at the bottom simply because there is a purple finish in the beginning if we look at texture this is another thickums like it's very opaque when you spread it out. It's not very translucent, very watery. Um, it's very much so a cream. Again, those textures tend to be better for those that have oilier skin. Next we have the Artless Glow Base. And if you can see, this one has a little bit of a run to it. It's not as much of a thick cream formula. So I noticed that this one's really, really easy to spread. And because it has that glow, like you can even see it there, right? That's glow that's meant to make you glow and shine so if you have dry skin um if you have dull skin in particular if you just want it to brighten up liven up a little bit so you can see the 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 shine on that <laughs> if you're oily i would avoid this one <laughs> i would avoid this one like the plate again we're looking at the misha sun essence this one is going to be quite runny it has the texture of like a milk of them all this is probably my favorite um, it's really, really light. It's not nearly as shiny 
as the Art Glow Base, so it's something that I would use on a more regular basis. And it's very light in texture and absorbs really quickly, doesn't leave a blue cast. Um, really quick absorbing at no point really has a blue cast. It's bomb, it's really bomb. Actually, I think even though this one is more for like a dewy finish, I don't think it's so crazy that someone with oily skin couldn't use it. This is my new baby. I love this. This is dope. And then last but not least, rehashing the CauseRx Aloe Soothing Sunscreen. So again, checking our texture situation. She's a cream. She's she's quite the cream. Again, through experiences, I've learned that this will be better for those that have normal skin or those with oily skin. If I had to arrange these top fives from least to greatest, least would definitely be the Benton. Um, just too much blue cast for me, so I'm not really into it. Also, it's a little bit more drying than the other one. Next would be the Artless Glow Base, simply because I wouldn't use this all the time. This is for hyper glow. That's the only reason why. This is still dope. Basically, Tide is the Claire's and the Aloe one from CauseRx. They have very similar ways and textures about them. Basically, the only difference is like the Claire's one is quadruple PA+. plus or whatever and it's also a lot more in this number one clear winner for me and my skin type is definitely the Misha I'm in love I'm feeling emotionally attached to it that's where I'm at right now so that's all for this video I hope you guys found it helpful if you like this video or want to see something similar be sure to like this video drop a line in the comment section and let me know what you want me to review next or what recommendations you want from your girl follow me on social media Instagram Twitter both of which are Kenny JD and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.